Welcome back to Crypto Tour. On today's video, I would like to discuss Polkadot. But before doing so, I would like to show you my YouTube channel. And if you are liking the content so far, do not forget to hit that like button as well. And if you would like to stay up to date about all upcoming videos, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. It will be highly appreciated. And thank you very much too for doing so. Lastly, I wanted to say, if you are right now willing to invest in cryptocurrencies and you are not yet having a platform to do so, do not forget to use the link down below in the description to sign up on Bybit and Femex where you can spot trade and also leverage trade on all types of cryptocurrencies and you will be earning as well a deposit bonus by doing so. So thank you very much already. Let's get started. On the Polkadot compared to BTC chart you can clearly see that we are right now seeing this major ascending support. We have seen multiple touch points already here in the past. We have seen a few as well in the middle we have seen two and we have seen several touch points as well at this point in time at approximately the 9th of september afterwards we saw a major movement towards the upside and what i would like to discuss is actually something rather interesting and that is actually that we have seen this previous momentum towards the upside you could clearly see that we saw multiple touch points of this ascending resistance you could clearly see that we got rejected multiple times at different points in time but what we have clearly seen right now is that we are breaking outside of this broadening wedge i was i would like to call it and you can clearly see that we are seeing clearly support on top of previous resistance what is this possibly meaning the reason i'm telling you this is before because i think that we will possibly see a major surge or amazing increase in Polkadot strength compared to Bitcoin. Polkadot is performing very well lately. And if I take a look as well at the MACD on the four hour time frame is going parabolically towards the upside and clearly not seeing a crossover anytime soon. So perhaps we might see a further increase, but the current market is right now heading in a downward direction. Therefore, I think it might be possible that this will be a fake breakout above this ascending resistance of previous resistance and that we might perhaps see a decline re-entering this broadening wedge or perhaps a ascending parallel channel but i would call it a broadening wedge due to the fact that it actually becomes broader while we are heading towards the outsides so therefore i would like to call it a broadening wedge as well if we take a look at the two hourly time frame you can clearly see that the crossover will occur or perhaps might occur during the upcoming hours therefore i think i will be very careful and telling you that we might perhaps re-enter this broadening wedge and trade in between this level of ascending support and resistance for a while before being able to break out towards the upside for sure if we take as well as look at the daily time frame you can see that we're clearly not going to see us over on the macd anytime soon therefore i think the uptrend will continue but that we might see a decline right now as well just a few things we have to consider is that in the past when we saw this major surges in price such as this one in this point in time was 28 percent and right now we have seen a major decline of 30 percent approximately more or less the same we saw a period of consolidation and afterwards downward momentum so i think that is very likely to occur right now and as you could see in the past as well we saw a major increase of approximately 26 or 28 percent actually and afterwards we saw a minor decrease of approximately 10 to 12 percent i think that is actually very healthy to occur right now and therefore i think it's looking quite great to me as well if we go even further towards the downside and find support on this ascending support it won't even matter due to the fact that we will still be inside of this higher low structure and therefore i think it is still very good for polkadot if we would see a retest of that level of support as well if we take a look at the moving averages clearly something i do think is very important is to see the crossover occur on the moving averages after the crossover you could clearly see exponential growth afterwards but what i think is even more important is that this will serve as major levels of support as they clearly did in the past after we broke out above those and therefore i think if we see a major downward momentum 
at that point in time the moving averages might already be at the same part and might find support as well on top of not just only the ascending support but as well on top of the moving averages that is something very important and something you would like to consider right now on the polkadot compared to bitcoin chart this being said i would like to head towards the polkadot compared to us dollar chart but before doing so i would like to actually show you my twitter and ask you to follow me down on twitter at thorough crypto where you will be getting all updates about upcoming videos and as well you will be able to vote for what cryptocurrency i have to discuss during the next upcoming video such as what i did for this video so please do not forget as well let's get started on the polkadot compared to usd chart i have already drawn two very important things that is this very similar ascending support but as well this on the four hourly time frame descending resistance why did i draw this descending resistance and why have i drawn this ascending support the reason why is because i personally think that we might start creating a rising wedge on the polka dot chart therefore i think we have to make multiple touch points still but we have already seen two touch points on this descending resistance line and as well two touch points on this descending report so i actually would like to say that this is a confirmed pattern but i would rather see even more touch points before an eventual breakout occurs this being said i would like to enable the ema ribbon on the four hourly time frame you can clearly see if i enable the ema ribbon something very good is immediately shown and that is that we are actually getting super supported right now by the EMA ribbon of course we have seen major declines in the past breaking out below the EMA ribbon and finding resistance underneath it but I think it is very good to know that we are right now in that upward momentum we are seeing support underneath us and perhaps we might retest the EMA ribbon a few times before breaking out towards the downside below the EMA ribbon of course that is just a matter of time but what I think is very important is that the EMA ribbon is supporting the current uptrend. On the daily time frame, it looks rather similar. The EMA ribbon is as well supporting the EMA ribbon is as well supporting the current uptrend. You could clearly see that we have found multiple touch points on top of it, finding support, and I think it is very likely that we will do so once again. As well, what I see on the daily time frame is that the EMA ribbon is perfectly aligned with this ascending support, and that gives me confidence that we might find support on top of this level lastly i would like to take a look as well at the moving averages on the daily time frame and those look actually very good to me as well you could clearly see a crossover occurred afterwards a major increase in the price action of polkadot and right now we will be able to find support on top of those and you could clearly see that already on this candle wick just several days ago that got supported by the 200 day moving average therefore these are major levels of support and I think that is very healthy to know that all indicators are showing us that this ascending support is actually going to hold very strong if you ask me i personally think that is very likely to occur that we will be finding support on top of this ascending support line of course what i would like to discuss as well is the macd and the levels of support and resistance that we might be seeing during the upcoming days getting reached if we eventually break out above or underneath this ascending support or this descending resistance of the rising wedge so therefore i would like to enable the macd if you take a look at the macd the macd is looking rather good on the four hourly time frame we are not expecting any crossovers on the two hourly time frame you can see something rather different here we saw downward momentum for just a while and right now we are experiencing upward momentum once again we are seeing a crossover here towards the upside and perhaps we might be able to break out above this rising wedge pattern of course that's just a matter of time but it's looking rather good for the polka dot chart what i would like to discuss as well is actually something else and that is the rsi on the two hourly and four hourly time frame if we take a look at the rsi the rsi looks very good on the two hourly time frame we are creating each time lower highs and as well lower lows and what I think is very important is that we are not seeing any type of bullish or bearish divergence. Therefore, I think it is very likely that we will see a potential increase in Polkadot's price action. What you have to take into consideration is that we are very near the upper part of the RSI and that a breakout above the dotted line might perhaps initiate a trend reversal and a 
downward momentum therefore as well major potential decrease and polka dots price action and if we take a look at the four hourly time frame on the rsi what you can clearly see on the rsi is that it's looking uh, very good as well but what i just discussed on the two hourly time frame is actually also very important right now and that is actually that we are potentially seeing a breakout above the dotted line of the rsi and that could potentially mean that we will see it reversal getting started and a decrease in its price action lastly i would like to discuss the fibonacci levels therefore i would like to place a fibonacci retracement from its previous high towards its 2021 low and take a look where we could possibly be heading towards if we see a breakout occur outside of this rising wedge towards the up or towards the downside it would be looking something similar to this by selecting the beginning of the descending resistance all the way towards the first touch point on the ascending support line and we would be seeing a major increase in Polkadot's price action heading towards the $43 level. Of course, that is a potential scenario. If we head even further towards the upside, we could be reaching an even higher target, but I think it's rather unlikely. What I think is personally going to occur is if we see a breakout occur above this descending resistance, we might see a potential increase heading towards the 0.786 finding support on top of it and accumulating at this point in time before heading even further. Of course, if we see a breakout towards the downside of here, it would look a little bit different. We would be heading, if you ask me, perhaps at this point in time, seeing a breakout on approximately the 22nd of September, or perhaps a little bit earlier on the 18th or on the 16th or 17th of September. But it all depends on how fast the up or downtrend are going to occur. But let's say it happens on the 17th of September, then you could perhaps see a breakdown all the way towards underneath the 0 0.382 Fibonacci level at $25.34. But what I think is very likely to occur is that we will be finding support on top of this level. But like I discussed previously, I think this level of ascending support will hold very strong and therefore I think a breakout and therefore i think a breakdown towards the downside is very unlikely to occur so thank you very much for watching the video if you like the content so far do not forget to give me a thumbs up and have a very nice day bye bye